Hey guys, today we're going to be making some LED strips to pair with the floods we made in our last video. Just as a refresher, we had originally seen this stage design on Need to Breathe's acoustic tour and decided it would be the perfect setup for our stage. Overall, this is a very easy way to get some DMX controllable LED strips for very cheap. Together with the floods we made, we feel they are the perfect way to get a great look on a budget. So what we have are one meter LED strip light housings uh, that I found on Amazon. I'll put the link below. Um, so we're going to use three different sizes of these. And so we cut these um, into two different sizes. We have the meter, we have 24 inch, and we have 16 inch pieces. Um, so the sizes that we're going to play with for our stage design. So we cut these using a jigsaw. Um, and the one thing with that is please make sure you're using a metal blade. We used a very fine metal blade, I believe. So the teeth on it were very, very close together and very small. Um, use that to be sure you don't get any kickbacks or anything like that. So right now what I'm doing is attaching this LED tape. Um, it's just generic RGBW LED tape off Amazon. I think this was $13. We got a few rolls of these um, and I'm cutting these into one meter long sections along the Cut lines, there'll be cut lines. As long as you cut along those, you can cut these strips wherever um, and it'll be good to go. So we're gonna cut meter long strips as well as strips to go in the housings for the 16 and 24 inch housings. All right, so Hunter is going to demonstrate how to put the front onto these housings. Um, it's just a little diffusion strip. So he's gonna line it up to one of the grooves on the housing. Oh yeah, that's a satisfying, satisfying sound. Satisfying, satisfying. It's a sat satisfying sound. Boom, so there's a few done, waiting to be soldered up. At this point, we laid out all of our lights in the configuration we were planning on mounting them and made all of our measurements. As I mounted all the lights, Hunter began soldering all the lines for the LED strips. Just getting our LED strips mounted to our upright posts. Um, we mounted the floods to them already. We got our LEDs wired up and Hunter's tacking them onto the board using the mounts that they came with. We used 22 gauge extension wire and enclosed them all in some wire loom to keep everything tidy. To drive all of our LEDs we used a few of these RGBW DMX decoders powered by these 30 amp AC to DC power supplies. All of these wires can quickly turn into a mess but I've included a shot here of what ours looks like for reference. One thing that's worth mentioning is that after a year and a half of use, a few of our LED strips have began to fail. This means that a small portion of a strip may just stop emitting a certain channel like green or blue. In order to fix this, you can cut the portion of the strip out and replace with a new portion of LED tape using some quick connectors made specifically for this purpose. InStyle LED does a great job demonstrating how this can be done easily. Their video will be linked here in this video and down below in the description. So that's all we have on these DIY LED strips. If you haven't already, be sure to watch our other video on how we made those awesome stage floods you also saw in this video. If you found any portion of this video helpful or just enjoyed watching, please give us a like and subscribe. We'd love to see how you guys are using these build ideas, so please post a link to your projects in the comments below.